brass instruments. Brass instruments are essentially the cylindrical long pipes that widen at their ends into a bell-like shape. The pipes have been curved and twisted into different shapes to make them convenient to hold and play. The brass family of instruments can absolutely bury the whole orchestra, leaving aside the piccolo. A brass instrument produces sound when the player vibrates or buzzes the lips into a metal cup shaped <coughs> detachable mouthpiece, creating a vibrating column of air in the tubing. The frequency of the air column's vibration can be modified by changing the lip aperture or embouchure, in addition to engaging one or more valves, or using a slide as in the case of the trombone. Double and triple tonguing are other techniques which are also possible. Let's hear about the trumpet. The trumpet is a musical instrument with a flat bell and a bright penetrating tone and plays the highest register in the brass family. A trumpet. No. Thank you. One second. Okay. Trumpets are among the oldest musical instruments dating back to at least 1500 before Christ. The earliest trumpets were signaling instruments used for military or for religious purposes. The natural trumpets of the late Middle Ages and Renaissance era consisted of a single coiled tube without valves and therefore could only produce the notes of a single overtone series. The modern instrument has a cylindrical tube with two turns and three piston valves. The most common among several types of trumpets is the transposing instrument pitched in B flat, the very same one that we, you are hearing on stage this evening. The range of the trumpet is two and a half octaves. Thank you, Norman. The cornet. <clears throat> the cornet is a brass instrument very similar to the trumpet, distinguished by its conical bow, <coughs> compact shape, and mellower tone quality. The name cornet derives from Italian corno, meaning horn. As several instrument builders, made improvements to both instruments, cornet and the trumpet, they started to look and sound more alike. The modern day cornet is used in brass bands, concert bands and in specific orchestral repertoire that requires a more mellow sound. The range of the cornet is two and a half octaves. Let's hear something. How it sounds. Thank you. Now that we miss your sound, individual. Trombone. Trombones exist in various sizes, but the most common is the tenor trombone, also called the B flat trombone. One piece of tubing slides in and out of another like a telescope. As the slide is extended, the tube gets longer and thus produces a low pitched sound. The player must judge how far to extend the slide in order to move from one note to the next. An interesting fact about the B-flat trombone is that it is treated as a non-transposing instrument. The range of the trombone is three octaves. Can you hear? animal horn, this instrument is often informally known as the French horn. However, this is technically incorrect since the instrument is not French in origin but German. <laughs> Therefore, the International Horn Society has recommended since 1971 that the instrument be simply called the horn. Having said that it is the most difficult instrument in the orchestra, the learner needs a good ear. For the horn has the longest series of harmonics of any brass instrument. The number depending on the skill and lip strength of the player, who must also learn the varying degrees of hand stopping. Pitch. Yeah, there's a little more.
more history to this. Pitch may also be controlled by the position of the hand in the bell. Since the hand is acoustically beneficial to the horn because it shortens the diameter of the bell. The backward facing orientation of the bell relates to the perceived desirability to, to create a subdued sound in concert situations in contrast to the more piercing quality of the trumpet. The range of the French horn is approximately three octaves. Okay. The euphonium. <laughs> the euphonium derives its name from the Greek word euphonos, meaning well-sounding or sweet-voiced. Eu means well and phonos means of sound, therefore of good sound. Nearly all current euphonium models are piston valve, though rotary valve models do exist. As a baritone voiced brass instrument, the euphonium traces its ancestry to the serpent, which is an ancient instrument made of wood, but classified under brass because the sound is produced by buzzing, buzzing the lips. With the invention of the piston valve system, circa 1818, the construction of brass instruments with an even sound and facility of playing in all registers became possible. The euphonium is alleged to have been invented as a tenor tuba. The range of the euphonium is three octaves. Rock, let's hear something. <coughs> Saxophone. Incidentally, the saxophone does not come under the brass family because even though the body is made of brass, the sound is obtained by a vibrating reed. And the tuba. This evening we are missing the largest member of the brass family, which is the tuba, in the in the bass, in the base of the brass section, also known as the bombardon. We shall be having Rock Lazarus play the E E flat tuba for further concerts as he is undergoing training with Maestro Jerome Rodriguez at Paroda. Thank you friends, this was a little brief of the last time.